times like these, a good drink's just as likely to cause a problem as to solve one. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Pleasure, sir. Been a while since we've seen any new faces, Randy. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cunt. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, Mr. Digby.
on this corpse are deep, the result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Ah! 
It's locked, all right. Cannot enter.
I can't believe I'm doing this. Steady!
I cannot enter. I hope they'll all return to the shadows once the epidemic has passed. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental of you. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. A vampire kills in utter silence. You again? What do you want? Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. You again? What? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way.
I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the Night Asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Why the long face, Doctor? Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face? Really? This is a blessing for me to become a Skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I have to see for myself, but your sense of purpose and calm gives me some relief. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. <laughs> 